Hey everybody, uh, Janet Fox here with a little quick and dirty intro to Canva and some of my favorite features. So here's what you find when you go on the um, homepage. Oh, and I should also say, um, I've been using Canva since beta. Uh, I fell in love with it super early and so when they offered the professional grade, I upgraded immediately. It's not that expensive. Um, I think it's about a hundred and something a year and it's really worth it because it expands your reach of um, things that you can use and uh, designs you can create. So some of these things may or may not be accessible to you uh, unless you upgrade. I'm not sure which because of course I'm now in that mode but I think the basics will still be here. So um, here's the um, thing you'll see when you get to the home page. Um, you'll see all your designs in, in uh, order here in, in its own um, box. But for your purposes, since you want to try doing um, promotional posts, I always start with the templates. Um, and let's just do social media templates for the moment because um, they're pretty straightforward, easy to, to create, easy to um, share, easy to resize for each of your needs. Uh, you'll find posts, you'll find um, uh, uh, the banners, whatever whatever you want um, if you search for it. So let's just start with a Facebook post. Um, okay, so we go to Facebook post templates and um, you can create your own, of course, right there. Uh, sometimes I do that. But most often, I just use a template that's already existing because I can fill in the blanks, take out what I want, add what I want. You can also choose by category. And um, if you, you want to browse by category, they just narrow it, the window down so that you can, um, if you want to do something Thanksgiving themed or whatever. Um, also, you can look at the themes and the styles and the colors and narrow your window even more. But for the moment, I'm just going to use their general sort of template here. In fact, maybe I'll just choose the Thanksgiving to see what they come up with. Okay, so they've got a lot of different possibilities in here, right? Now, this is, again, still a Facebook post um, themed. Now, let's say I want to do a themed post around my book, Carry Me Home, which is about... Thanksgiving-ish things, things that being thankful, being a part of a community, and so on. Um, I'll choose something that allows me to add my cover pretty easily, because of course you want your cover in there. So let me, I'm just going to choose one at random. This one has an image in it, so it's very easy for me to substitute my um, the image of my book into this post. So let's just pick that up. I'm going to customize this template and here it appears on in the in the creator um, domain. So um, first things first, I want to put my book um, cover into this template. So I'm going to select that photo template and you can see that everything in here, every item in here has its own little box. You can delete them, you can change them, you can use them, whatever it is that you would like to do with these um, individual elements. So in my uploads file, I do have an image of my cover and it is right here. So I'm going to select that and I can put it right into that box, right into that place. And if I want to resize it, I can resize it. And I will resize it there. I can move it. Now you see it still has that shadow element that they brought into the post. Um, I think that's fine for this purpose. If I wanted to get rid of the shadow element, I would delete this entire box and then um, just drop my, my cover in. In this case, since I dropped it into an existing element, it's got the shadow, it's got the little frame thing. It's fine for, for these purposes, but if you don't like it, you just delete it and then you drop your, your cover in separately. So 
You can use the same um, uh, font that they've put in this. And I will just to show you. Um, and to show you how you just delete, you know, reuse the, um, the whatever they have there. It's um, available oh, now. Um, I can put in my, oops, Simon and Schuster. Okay. And then my um, website. Okay. So it's really pretty simple. If I wanted to change the background of this particular template, I could do that. Right now they have this sort of strange um, whitish confetti background. I don't like that very much. Let's put something that pops a little more. Let's try red. And it still has the confetti in it, which is kind of cool. Um, if the shadow isn't working that way, you just stretch it up to the corner where it looks like it's coming off the corner, which is kind of cool too. And you can center these things. You can move them around as individual elements. Um, you can move them to suit your needs. Whatever, whatever works for you, everything is, is able to be moved and manipulated. Okay, but let me show you what I really want to show you with this. I have now made a Facebook post. I'm going to rename it so that I remember what it is. Um, it's not the black and white simple face Thanksgiving Facebook post. It's my Carry Me Home Facebook post. So I could do CMH1 or whatever, you know, I want to do for my Facebook post or put a date in there for when I want to post it. But here's the cool thing. Right up here at resize, I can resize it in an instant. So let's say I want to also do this for a Twitter post. Click, copy and resize. Boom. Now, what I might want to do is move things around or stretch them out. Maybe pull this down, maybe pull these over or stretch them out to fit the Twitter template eas more easily. You, and you want to also remember that as you resize, um, fonts will get smaller in Twitter than they are in Facebook, less easy to read. So you may want to, you know, beef them up. And here's how you do that. You just increase the font size, boom, 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 boom. Um, and if you want to uh, change the font, Let's say you want to change the font there and you want to use something a little different. Let's try that one, which is kind of fun. So again, you can play with this in any way you like. You can take things out, boom, whatever. You can resize, you can refont. Um, if I wanted to get rid of that particular look, I can delete it. I have to delete the, the entire thing. But then I go back to my uploads. I go back to my book cover. And let's say I want to use the um, three-dimensional looking cover just because there. Again, resize, resize. And there, I've got a Twitter post, not very good one right now. But that's the idea. That's what you can do. Um, uh, in the next one, I'll show you how to get rid of the background on an image, which is super fun. Alrighty.